guys, welcome to Shiloh's Nursery. This is Shiloh, my six month old daughter, and I'm gonna be walking you through her room, just showing you everything and where I got it from. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, I just want to start this video off by saying that I am by no means an interior designer. However, these are just some ideas and things that I did to put Shiloh's nursery together and keep it under budget. So if you're interested and you're doing the same thing, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So when I was first deciding how I wanted to decorate Shiloh's nursery, I actually went to Pinterest and I created a Pinterest board of all of the ideas that I really liked. Ideas that I wanted to take bits and pieces from and put it together to make up her room. So as you can see on the walls, we have some of these wooden rustic looking pieces. That was one thing that I knew that I wanted to include. The second thing I knew that I wanted to include are the floral pieces. As you can see throughout the room, such as here, this floral string is from Hobby Lobby and it was very inexpensive. Be sure to purchase them on sale or use a 40% off coupon to get them for even cheaper. So once I knew some decor items that I wanted to include in her room, such as this name sign up here, hey Shiloh, she wouldn't nap so she's just hanging out. I knew that I needed to include a color scheme for her room, so I thought about doing pink on the walls and I decided against it. I decided to stick with all neutrals and just use blush pink as a pop of color. After testing out a lot of different neutral colors on the walls, I decided to go with the color Swiss Coffee by Bear. So that is the ivory cream color that you see here on the wall. It's a really great neutral. And next I picked out the color for the big pieces of furniture and registered for the big pieces of furniture. So the very first thing I picked out is this crib right here. This crib is from Bye Bye Baby and it costs about $299, but I was able to find it on Amazon for cheaper. I also decided to go with the light gray color on the crib because I felt like it was nice and soft and I thought it would contrast with the wall well. I went with a light gray for her gliding chair as well. I feel like it kind of coordinates with the crib and this chair is from Target. It costs around $300 as well, but I was also able to find this on Amazon for cheaper. So if you're ever looking for a piece of furniture, check Amazon and see if it's cheaper. Um, I love this chair because it swivels and it goes back and forth and it's really comfortable. Now this dresser is one of the last pieces of furniture that I picked out for the room. I went back and forth for a while if I wanted to buy a dresser right away or did I just want to get a changing table and use small bins or baskets to hold her diapers, wipes, and onesies and clothes. But after going back and forth, I decided to go ahead and get a dresser since I'll have to buy one for her eventually anyways. This dresser here is from Target. It costs um, about $300 as well. I do feel like it was a pretty reasonable price for a dresser and I don't have any complaints with this, although I will say to be careful with the paint on top because it can chip as you can see right there. So just be careful with that. Inside the dresser we have wipes to the right and we keep onesies and socks to the left. Underneath in the second drawer we keep extra clothes. These have onesies, pants, footed pajamas, all different types of clothes. And in the bottom drawer, we keep random stuff. To the left, we have towels, we have burp cloths, we have bibs that I use to feed her, and we also have washcloths and swaddling blankets and sleep sacks as well. Basically, anything of hers that I may need to just grab, I keep down there. And of course, I also registered for all of my practical pieces that I knew that I was going to need for a nursery. Down here, I have the laundry basket that I decided to pick up for Shiloh. This is from Target and it was very inexpensive. It may be more of a storage bin, but I use it as a laundry basket and it works great for her little clothes. Here on top of the dresser, we keep her changing pad. So this is also her dresser and her changing station. This wiping pad is great because it wipes clean which comes in as a lifesaver i love it it is from the brand skip hop this is available on bye bye baby and also amazon.com and it costs 69.99 and just to the right of the changing table we keep her wipe warmer always have hand sanitizer and some type of diaper rash cream or baby powder just in case and also to the very right of the dresser is her diaper genie down there so we just use this as her changing station and it works out super conveniently 
So once I got the big pieces of furniture down or registered for and I got all of the practical stuff out of the way, it was the fun part. I got to choose some of the accent decor that was going to really make her room stand out and all just go together. So here on her chair are a couple of pieces that I picked up from again from Target. This throw blanket um, I loved because I love the different colors on it. It has the cream, it has the blush pink, it has some grayish topes on there and then the fluffy pillow those I both picked up from Target I knew I wanted to incorporate those colors in her room so I feel like it worked out perfectly and I love the fringe on the bottom the ottoman to the right of the chair is also from Target it's really cute and it has this velvety texture to it and I thought it was just really fun this basket in the corner is also from Target it has a fringe detail and knots um, on the side and I just thought that was also really cute. The pillow inside is also from Target and again it just had that blush pink color that I knew that I wanted to incorporate in her room. I actually used this basket to store her swaddling blankets so they're all rolled up and inside at the bottom and I also have some small toys and stuffed animals in there so it's a functional piece but it also adds just a cool little cute touch to the room. So I decided to go with blush pink curtains for the room. These are from Bed Bath & Beyond. I was actually able to use my gift card from Bye Bye Baby at Bed Bath & Beyond and I believe they were about $40 per panel. There is a little bit of texture to these curtains if you see up close and they also have a gray panel on the back and that helps block out some light but not all of the light so I can still kind of see what she's doing while she's in the room. So I knew that I wanted a rug for this room and I started looking at all different websites to see where can I find it for the best deal. This rug here is from amazon.com and I think it only costs about $40. So if I can still find it, I will have it linked down below for you guys. But I love it so far, it doesn't shed. It's just a nice shag rug and it has that um, light gray color on it with the cream. So it literally goes perfect with this room. Eventually, my husband and I would love to switch out this carpet for hardwood or even a really nice laminate, but for now, I think this rug just helps brighten up the middle of the floor and just add a little bit of detail. So the very final step that I took in putting together Shiloh's Nursery, and this was honestly my favorite part, was picking out decor for her walls and finally hanging it up on the wall. So... As I talked about in the beginning of the video, I knew that I wanted to include some kind of wooden rustic looking pieces. So I decided to go to Etsy and to find a wooden name sign. I wanted something to say Shiloh Grace. After looking through a bunch of different Etsy shops that had similar name signs to this wooden one that you see right here, I decided to go with this one. I will link the name of the shop down below. Because I found it to be affordable, I also loved her work and she was willing to work with me and get this done as a custom name sign. So she does different signs for like the bathroom and stuff like that, but I asked if she could do a bath, <laughs> actually said get naked, which is really funny because it was supposed to sit over someone's shower. <laughs> so it's like, you know, get naked before getting in the shower. But I asked her if instead of putting that on the sign, if she could put Shiloh Grace and then add the design that you see here. So she was happy to work with me and um, I think it came out really great. I was also able to, ch um, to choose the stain of the wood. I believe this is the walnut the walnut stain and I was also able to choose the color of the letters. So I went with like a nice ivory color to go with the walls. And to hang the sign on the wall, we got a string, which is from Hobby Lobby, and hung it like this. And we also got the string of floral to go over it as extra pop of color and just some extra detail. And that floral is also from Hobby Lobby. Now this wooden sign that you see here on this wall is also off of Etsy. I believe it is from a shop called Half Pint Ink, but I will also have them linked down below. So when I saw this, it says, let her sleep for when she wakes, she will move mountains. Um, when I saw this, I absolutely loved it and knew that I had to have it in her room. When I first got it, I initially wanted to have it go over her crib 
because it does talk about her sleeping, so I figured why not. But I decided instead to put it here um, just above her gliding chair because it is a very big sign and it's kind of heavy. So Tyler and I just felt more comfortable with it here on this wall. So the very last thing that I wanted to show you guys are these wall shelves and also this mirror that just adds something extra to the room. These wall shelves to the left are from Amazon.com. I went through all sorts of wooden looking wall shelves, something that would be rustic but not too rustic and something that I felt would work with her room. I just thought that the squares on these would be really cute and really fun and I also love the colors and the stain of this wood. So to decorate, I just threw in some small stuffed animals and also some books. And the floral string, again, is from Hobby Lobby. And the mirror that we decided to go with for right above Shiloh's dresser, this one is from Target. I thought that it was perfect because it's just nice and simple. It has a bezeled edge, and I think it's the perfect size for this space. And moving to the far right corner of her room are these wall shelves right here. I got these also from Amazon.com and they were, I believe, under $25, which I think is really good. So if you're looking for wall shelves for similar um, rustic vibes, go ahead and check out my links below. These have held up really well so far. Um, I also love the color of these. Um, it matches her cribs. You can see the gray is really similar. So I think it worked out perfectly. And to decorate these, I have this S on top. This is a wooden S that has florals and greenery just glued to it. My friend Brittany actually gave it to me as a gift for Shiloh's nursery. I was actually going to make one of these or buy one myself, so I'm so glad that she gave it to me. These moccasins right here are just some of my favorite baby moccasins that I think are so cute, and they're from Old Navy. And on the bottom shelf, we have a canvas of Shiloh. This is from when she was still in the hospital. And to the left is a nanny cam or security camera that we have set up so we can check on her while my husband and I are at work. I did want to mention that I do recommend this camera if you're looking for a security camera or some type of nanny cam. It works great and it connects with an app, but if you're interested in hearing a review on it, then let me know down below in the comments. I want to say that it only costs about $25. And just to the right of Shiloh's crib is her closet. In there we have her clothes that are hung up and also just a bunch of extra diapers and wipes and all sorts of things for storage. So I'm not gonna go through it all right now, but if you wanna see a closet organization video, let me know down below in the comments. All right guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some decorating inspiration for your little one if you are decorating a nursery yourself. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.